Welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping in to cover how to do custom client events. So as you can see here, we're flying towards Billy Bishop Airport and we're being asked for an ident. And how can we do that now and map those to buttons now that these new client events are in the SDK, but not yet in SPAD.next. First, let's jump into the cockpit, have a look at it, then we'll jump into SPAD.next and build it. There are sim events now, key events for ident off, ident on, ident set, and ident toggle. These are all controlling the new transponder ident variable. What we want to be able to do is map a physical button that would do the same thing as the soft keys. So here in the UI, if we were to hit this ident button, we'll see it go into ident mode and then after 18 seconds, ident will disable. Obviously you can press the soft keys, but if we want to map something that is always an ident button and technically should work with any other device, maybe you want it on your joystick because Sometimes in real life, we actually do have extra buttons on the yokes. And if you look here, hey, there's actually an ident button in real life on the yoke right there. So how do we do this? Since SPAD.next has not yet added those key events, this is also something that you're going to find happens with say fly-by-wire or other new products that come out it may have something that you want that's not yet available. Well, using the SDK, we can find out what those key events are right here and we can now create those ourselves. So let's jump back into SPAD.next now and work on this. We have all of our tabs on the left hand side. We've covered this before, but if we jump into the add on section, you will find a section called client events. Now in the past, we've used this to get the H event for the VNAV toggle that working title added to the NXI. Since then, it has been added in, I believe, to the standard event list of SPAD.next. For this one, I needed to create a transponder event. So we go to add client event and you get to give it a name and enter that event. Now, because I want this always available to me, I made sure to set it as a global event. Once you've created a client event, you actually can't really edit it and modify this in the GUI. So if we were to come in and I was to change this to profile and click OK, you'll see it doesn't actually change it. It stays as what it was set. So I created a name transponder ident toggle and we have to enter the key event exactly how we see it. So in this case, we used the key event toggle that's right here. Now we could have used on offset, but since I want to use this on a momentary push button, I don't have to worry. I'll send the toggle event and it will toggle it on after 18 seconds. It's going to set it to off anyway. So in our transponder event toggle, we added K colon. So this is telling us what the event type is. And this is important for these types of events. So a standard SIM connect key event is a K event. A H event or HTML event for the new GUI system, like what working title uses for the G1000 NXI, those are HTML events or H events. So we added K colon transponder underscore ident underscore toggle. I gave it a category of Microsoft Flight Sim, so it'll go into that category. And I gave it a transponder ident toggle for the description. Once I've created that, that's now available to me as an event. So now let's head on over to our Stream Deck where I made a button called ident test. So then we came in 
We added an event. We went to button pressed. Add action. Send simulation event. And then I searched for ident. And you'll see that we've now got our ident toggle key event that we created. So I'm going to go ahead, add that to the button. That event is now good to go. Now we're going to see when we press that button, we get the ident. So there you go. We've gone ahead and we've added a client event to do exactly what the SDK told us we could do. And now we have it and don't have to yet wait for SPAD to add it to the events list for us. That'll about do it for client events and how to make them and use them. As always, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Come along next time. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.